Hey everybody, welcome back to Random Recess. We're here in Honduras. We've never been to this port, so come along with us while we explore and grab some lunch. Yeah, we hear there's a pretty good fish spot in port and we're gonna go to with our friends. A lot of people have told us about it. We're excited to just see what the port is all about. Chris and I have cruised a lot, but we haven't had a chance to explore a new port. Uh, we typically go to the same port, so this is unique for us. We're really excited. Yeah, it's pretty windy out here on the ship, so we're gonna get going, but come along with us on this recess. You know what time it is. It's recess time. Let's go. All right, Chris, first impressions of Roatan. It's really pretty out here. Obviously, it's a Caribbean island, super green. The weather's fantastic. It's windy, but it feels excellent out here. It's like 80 degrees. Who, you would never know it's January. Uh, you think it's the middle of the summer, but oh, this is awesome. Can't wait to get down and explore. We are off the ship here in Rotan. We are walking right now. We're gonna go through the duty-free shops. Pretty painless process. We kind of let everyone get off. Kind of took our time this morning. We don't really have an excursion today. We're exploring the port and we've got uh, our friend Hippie. He's gonna take us to one of his favorite restaurants. All right, just leaving the tax and duty-free shops. I didn't film in there because if you've been in one, you've been in all. All right, so Mahogany Bay here in Roatan is like a Carnival-owned port, and the, I think Carnival operates the port, so only Carnival ships are able to dock here. Uh, it's similar to a bunch of other ports that you go to. You know, you enter the port, you have like a central shopping area, you see all the normal shops, right? Diamonds International, there's a Del Sol, there's a Fat Tuesday, you can't have a port without a Fat Tuesday. Um, so if you want to get down and do some shopping, you'll find all of the regular shops here. Um, and yeah, it's really pretty. There's a lot of greenery. There's a few nature walks you can do here at the port. Um, and if you don't have an excursion, I know they don't recommend that you kind of venture beyond the gates without an excursion, um, just for like safety reasons. But uh, we're, we're not planning on doing that today. We're probably just gonna stick here in the port and see, see what shops there are and definitely go get lunch. So uh, there's a lot to see and do here uh, in Mahogany Bay, even if you don't have an excursion. Um, you know, it probably won't take you too long, but uh, it's good to get down and just kind of see the sights. It's really pretty out here. All right, y'all, for this view alone, if you haven't subscribed, consider subscribing to our channel. We are a travel vlog. We do more than cruising. We live in Austin, Texas, so you're gonna get Austin and, and the surrounding Texas cities. We also travel a lot to Las Vegas, to theme parks like Disney. Uh, and we just love to travel all around and share uh, our recesses, our experiences with you. So if you like room reviews, restaurant reviews, travel content in general, we would really appreciate it. Guys, look, Skyliner, Skyliner Rotan. Comment down below if you've been on the Skyliner, the Disney Skyliner and uh, lift to tell the tale. I will never go on that thing again. I don't know that I would do this either. All right, we could take the walkway, which takes you directly to the beach and some of the restaurants, or you can just do it yourself and take the nature trail. If you followed Chris and I, you know that our very first vlog, we were testing out our equipment trying to figure out how to do this and we went to mckinney falls state park in austin texas so we're so we're not a stranger to a nature walk and also from the denver series of vlogs you probably learned that chris is an eagle scout not that we're gonna get lost we're on a nature trail really well paved but if we do chris will uh, guide us out we're in the rainforest y'all this is my kind of uh nature trail they have misters installed. How crazy is that? I guess Chris found something. Take my picture with the fam. Take my picture with the family. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to the pier or the beach? All right. Oh, the pier is the really long. Here we go. That's the exit to the nature trail. And it actually spits you out right here by the duty free shop of the port. So if you want to bypass all the shops, Whenever you get to that uh, T on the nature trail that tells you to go one way or the other, just take the other way that we showed you. Go the opposite way and it'll take you back here. Yeah, it's really well paved. It's a pretty easy walk so far. 
There are stairs. Definitely be careful if you come out here. All right, well, there are so many photo ops here. So if you are someone who likes to post online on Instagram, you definitely check this nature trail out when you're here. Chris has decided to get his pose on. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm get a cool IG pic here. There's that Disney Skyliner again. Great view of the ship too. Yeah, this is really cool. They have a lot of water sports here. I do see people swimming. All right, y'all, look at all the activities they have here. Snorkel, floating hydro bike, sea clams, aqua cycle, paddle boats, paddle board. And we've got some folks coming in following their excursion. It's actually pretty warm, so we probably should have done something in the water thinking about it, but it's, uh, it's January. It's 80 something degrees. We just felt like the water might be a little too cold, but I don't know. It's like the perfect weather. And I mean, just look at this view. This is our first time in Rotan, like we said. We should put a counter how many times we've mentioned that. But uh, yeah, so far, I'm like really impressed. So this may be a hot take. We have, we've barely been here like 30 minutes, but this is already better than Grand Turk. Grand Turk, Grand Turk wishes it could be Roatan. It's a hidden gem. It's even called Hideaway. Oh, hey there. So we're at El Hideaway, which is on Mahogany Beach in Roatan. You just go all the way down the beach, it dead ends into the restaurant. You can't miss it all the way at the end. We ordered some food. We're gonna get a whole fried snapper, which apparently is really, really good. We also got some jerk chicken and our drinks are on the way, so stay tuned. All right, I got the pina colada. So I think they get their drinks from Fat Tuesday, which is right down the beach, but if you've had a Fat Tuesday drink, you know, cheers. Uh, pina colada, it's not too sweet. Very strong. They may also make it with 151. So, cheers. Mm. All right, y'all, I got the Tropical Itch, something you don't want to take back with you. Tropical Itch has frozen punch and fruit juices with bourbon and 151 rum. That's right, 151 rum. They're trying to destroy us out here, right? In this heat, make sure you're hydrated. Pro tip. This tastes like a frozen Kool-Aid with 151 rum, so. Ooh, and our food's here. Cheers. All right, you guys. The fish is the star of the show. It was so good. We demolished it. We're still picking at it, but let me tell you, the skin is crispy, the meat was flaky and not dry at all. Whatever they seasoned the fish with was outstanding. Um, the sauces were good that come with it. Obviously it's a whole fish, so be careful of the little pin bones as you work your way through it. You know, it's $24, I, it's worth every every penny. It's so good. All right, y'all, the tropical itch has hit me hard. At El Hideaway, we started with the chicken, as you do. Uh, it's, it's jerk chicken, we got the leg which comes with uh, rice and beans, pico de gallo, and plantain, fried plantain. El Hideaway shares its food with the other restaurant uh, at the beach. So if you're interested in trying both the fish and chicken, come here and you can just order the jerk chicken and they'll bring it over. All right, y'all, uh, right, right past the Hideaway, which is literally like the last part of this pier, uh, of this port, I should say, is a little pier that you could walk down and there's actually like a reef where you could snorkel. Yeah, the water's actually pretty clear out here. Um, you can see all the fish and the coral. It's really nice. And it's a lot less crowded at this part of the beach than it is a little closer up to the port. Um, and you get some great ship views. So we'll show you that. And, uh, and it feels so good out here. This the is so, so nice. All right, let's do a pan shot because y'all got to see this. I mean, yeah, you can see the the water right down there. There's folks snorkeling. They do have a little beach too. And there's our ship, Carnival Vista. Whew, gotta, I'm not gonna have a chance to earth on this cruise. We're just not doing any excursions where I'll be barefoot mixing with the earth. But uh, yeah, this has been absolutely amazing. Nice to get off the ship, walk around, had a fabulous lunch. Next up, we're just gonna walk around the shops. There aren't that many shops, so 
won't be won't take us very long. This was an easy walk, so just want to take a moment and say thank you to Hippie and his family for just being so nice and patient, having vloggers at the table at dinner uh, or at lunch or wherever. They've been so open and so nice. Uh, we try not to get in the way, but yeah, just want to say thank you so much. Uh, they've been great, and of course, they're like avid cruisers. They are well seasoned. Way more than we are, so they've been able to give us some tips and tricks to pass along to you guys. Alright, so right to the left as you exit the ship, you can go through a bunch of shops. There's a little marketplace, and um, that's also where you'll find the exit to the port. You can catch cabs here. Uh, this is also where excursions will meet if you say you want to do the zip lines or the ATVs. It's right here. It's a short, like, five minute walk from the ship. So, super easy to find if you're doing those excursions. Even if you're not and you want to come, like, do them separate from Carnival. Uh, they have their little stand set up right outside the exit, so come check it out. All right, y'all, we just finished up at Roatan. No excursion like we said. We just walked around the port, had lunch, getting back on the ship. It's been a beautiful day. We still got plenty more left in this vlog, so keep watching. Hit that like button. And we definitely got to do some trivia because we still have not gotten that elusive Vista ship on a stick. Ready for some trivia? Let's go! We're gonna do movie songs, I think. We're generally pretty good at those, but we'll see. We're gonna try to win a ship on a stick. We still haven't won one yet, so let's go. Yeah, we actually do really well on this particular trivia. Don't jinx us. I know. <laughs> We're gonna do so bad. Uh, now what? If you've been watching this series, we've actually only played one round of trivia, and that was, what, day three. We... <laughs> We are headed to Ocean Plaza to play some trivia. All right, here we go. Got our sheet ready. Ready to win. We're not going to win. We're doing okay. We'll see. We're halfway through. Come on. Y'all know this one. All right, we finished. We're not sure about two of them, but then we got 13 solid answers. We only got 13. We did not win. Beat by one. Yeah. We got beat by one point, dude. We got beat by one point. Curses. Hey, Chris. Draw me like one of your French girls. All right, so we're here at the Red Frog Pub and Brewery. If you didn't know, the Carnival Vista has its own brewery on board, which is cool, and they brew their own beer. But along with that, the Red Frog is a staple pub, staple bar on any carnival ship. Uh, you know, the carnival uh, carnival brand has Red Frog Rum Bar on the Lido decks, but on the larger ships, there's a um, inside pub and brewery. So Red Frog Pub and Brewery has beers, local beers, Caribbean beers, rum, a lot of good stuff, and some food as well. All right, I got the um, Sparkling Ting, and it's made with Ting Grapefruit Soda. If you're not familiar with Ting, it's actually a Jamaican soda um, that they have exclusively here at the Red Frog, so you don't have to go all the way to Jamaica to get some Ting. It's actually really good. We had it at Epcot. But anyway, this is vodka and Ting over ice with a lime, so let's give it a shot. That's so, so good. Way better than a vodka soda. Better than a vodka Sprite. You know, it's, it's probably full sugar soda, which is why it's really good, but um, yeah, it's smooth. Can't really taste the vodka. The grapefruit comes through. It's a little bit tart and a little bit sweet. That's delicious. I like it a lot. Ben stole my drink and he's <laughs> and he's drinking it. So he's not lying. Um, I'm a vodka boy, and Chris is not. This is good. It's really good. There's some ting about it. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> All right. I am gonna probably drink Chris's drink if he doesn't drink it. Let's count how many times I said drink. Um, speaking of Club Cool, guys. You've never been. You have to try Beverly. That's like the best drink. It's the best soda. It's an, it's a, it's an Italian aperitif. Fabulous. You're going to love it. Random recess. Recommend.
You know what? At your own risk. Yeah. <laughs> Try it. No, it's good. You'll love it. It's, it's so good. Everyone loves it. All right, y'all. We are leaving Roatan right now. This is just absolutely stunning. We're at sunset. Let's see vloggers in action. There it is. What? All right, y'all, that's gonna do it for this recess here in Roatan. It was our first time here, just exploring. We had a great time. Can't wait to come back. That fish is worth coming back alone. So we're definitely gonna be back. Um, can't wait for Belize tomorrow. Tomorrow's Belize, so make sure to check in with our recess from tomorrow to see what we get into there. But until next time, we'll see you on the next recess.